Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial, and in this video, we're going to show you how to do some great holiday snowflakes. Now, as you'll notice, that they're all falling like snow, and this is done with a particle um, system, but you also can see that they all have a difference. They're not all the same shape. You know, no snowflake is alike. And I'm actually sure if you went in and examined these, you would find two that are alike. But let me show you how to put this together so it automatically kind of changes up the way these look for the particle system so you don't have to create a million different snowflakes. So let's start by creating first a new composition. So let's do this 1920 by 1080. And I'm fine with just 10 seconds long. Okay. Let's add in our background, our nice solid red background. And I'm going to apply my vignette preset just to that to kind of make a nice gradient background. And maybe give it a little bit more feather. And if you don't have this preset yet, just go ahead and click on the link in the description and you can go to right where you can download it and it's a free preset for you to automatically create vignettes like this. It's just a, you know, a little plug for some of my products there. So now I've got the background. Let's create the snowflake. And what I want to do is I'm going to create a new composition and I want this to be, let's go 500 by 500. I want a nice square. And in here is where I'm going to create uh, my snowflake shape, but not the whole thing. I'm just going to create part of it and then I'm going to replicate it around and create a cool kind of a pattern. So let's go back into my main composition and let's bring this right into the center just so it's in there. Now let's go in here and I'm going to use a just the pen tool and I'm going to create kind of a shape. And I want it to look kind of like an arm of a snowflake. And so I'm just I'm kind of making something up here. And it doesn't have to be really anything awesome. You can see how amazing this is. Okay. So that's what I ended up with. Let's turn this on black so you kind of see what the whole shape looks like. And now from here, I want to maybe add uh, like a circle or something. So I'm going to grab my circle. Let's go to the stroke color. Make that white. Give it a stroke. Stick this right here. And let's come into the contents on the shape layer. I'm going to go down, position it right in the center, and remove the fill. Okay, and then that's really it for now. I might go in here and maybe scale this a little bit and maybe move it. But I can also come in to this layer and scale that down. Maybe move it to about like that. I kind of want to actually change up this. Let's go into here and maybe change this so it's a little more spiky. Okay. So this is what I I have and this is what I'm going to work with. So I'm going to go back into my main composition. Doesn't look like a snowflake yet, but let's add an effect. Go down to stylize and it's CC Kaleida, as in kaleidoscope. And immediately it, it does this and it's not what we want, but let's come in here to the settings. So I'm gonna come in here to Starlish and I need to change the size of this so that all of the other parts of it are off. So you can see here as I scale this up, that moves off and I can then move this around and I start to get kind of a, you know, 
a snowflake look. And after I get this, maybe I want to come in here and I don't like, you know, maybe I want this to be moved here. And perhaps this circle, I want to be like this. And then when we come back into it, creates a completely different look. And it all looks like a snowflake. So that's really the beginning of the snowflake. And what we do to create all of the variations is to just animate this. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to start right there at the beginning. Let's keyframe the rotation. Go to the end of the 10 seconds. And you can see there's a change. Now I can also come in here and keyframe the center. Go to the end of the 10 seconds. Do something like this. So that everything, every single part of this is looking different. Now to add even more variation, I can come in here and keyframe these elements in here. So let's bring these both up, hit position, keyframe them. And now I'm just going to move these independently of each other, kind of like that. Let's go back into our main composition. And you can see that's kind of what we're working with. Now also, after I made some movements, I don't really like how this is at the end. So I'm going to change this a little bit. And we're just getting some variations on these snowflakes here. And I'm really liking this. I think I might just take this last bit a little bit more. So we got a nice smaller snowflake. And then there's all my variations on the snowflake. Now before we add this to a particle system, I need to take this and pre-compose it. So Command Shift C on the keyboard. Let's just call this snow and make sure you move all the attributes so that this layer right here, if I go into the effects, it doesn't have any effects applied to it. Okay, now that we have that, let's go to layer, new, solid, and it doesn't matter what we call this, but we can call this particles. And let's add the, simu go down to simulation effects and go to Particle World. Now Particle World is kind of like your poor man's particular, so if you don't have Trap Code Particular, you can use Particle World. If you do have pra Trap Code Particular, it works better. There's more features. It's a lot easier to use. Um, so I would suggest using that. But if you don't, this is included with After Effects. So I've got this open. I'm actually going to take this layer, bring it down to the bottom. Let's go to, part, uh, let's go to my Particle layer. Go to the Particle tab here in the Effects Controller. Switch this to Texture Disk. Switch the Texture layer to Snow. Let's move kind of forward to where it is. And you can see, oh, they're really small, but you can see that there's now this particle in there. I want to come in. Let's change the color to white like Snow. Bring the size up, maybe not that big. And let's maybe tweak some of these other settings. So let's go to the producer. Let's change the radius. And that's falling much too fast. So what we can do is we can come into 
the physics. Take this off of explosive, and let's just do twirl. Let's see what twirl -y looks like. A little bit crazy. And let's take down the velocity. Maybe add some resistance. It's starting to look more like snow. Let's take the birth rate down. Maybe to 0 0.1 and make the longevity a lot more. Let's go up to like 20 seconds. So that's starting to look more like snow. Now, what we can do now also is let's go into the particle and here where it says texture time, let's set that to birth. And then what you can see is that they're now showing up as different parts of the snowflake. Because I animated the snowflake to change over time, these all these snowflakes are changing as well. So here's, here's how you make snowflakes. Here's how to make them snow and show up as different snowflakes across the particle system. I hope you learned a lot. Um, if you have any questions, just put them down in the comments below. I'd love to answer them for you. And um, I'd love to see what you guys are doing for the holidays. If you have any cool videos you're making using snowflakes, please just post them down in the comments. Uh, you can do that new now on these new Google um, YouTube comments. You can put links there. So go ahead and put a link to your video. I'd like to see it. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.